I am John Nowatsky, uh, an Extension Ag Machine System Specialist at uh, NDSU Ag and Biosystems Engineering Department. And today, what I'd like to talk about is a project we're doing here at the Grasslands, monitoring cattle with uh, solar charged GPS tags and collars. And also, uh, the second thing I want to talk about is using uh, uh, drone UAV imagery to inventory cattle on pastures. But the, the first um, technology that I'd like to share is a, a, uses a, a network a system called LoRaWAN. And uh, what this is is an uh, unlicensed frequency by the FAA in the United States that allows us to send data from the tags uh, to an antenna, we call a gateway, to the internet so that you can uh, put these tags on cattle and monitor their locations and monitor their movements. So if you uh, collect that information over a period of, of days, you can see the grazing pattern. That's one of the objectives of this project is to see uh, the grazing pattern of the cattle. Uh, these uh, technologies allow you to uh, access the location of the animals on the internet. Uh, the uh, cattle have to be within about five miles uh, of the antenna and uh, it has to be kind of a line of sight. Uh, trees don't seem to bother and uh, small hills don't bother. So this is an opportunity from a rancher's point of view to be able to monitor uh, location of cattle, tell whether or not they're in the fence or outside the fence. In the case of, uh, of this project, again, we're focusing on grazing patterns. Um, the second thing that uh, I want to talk about is being able to inventory cattle using drone imagery. And uh, we've been experimenting with that uh, throughout the season and find that uh, it is successful. Uh, we've uh, been accurate in counting the animals in pastures. Um, one issue that we have is uh, in the United States you can only fly a drone at 400 feet above the ground. That means that uh, you're going to have to collect a series of pictures and prepare what we call a mosaic to attach them together to make one image. And the issue with that, of course, is the animals uh, on rangeland are moving. So the drone flies down and takes pictures of the cattle and then flies back uh, 200 feet away and the same animal might be in both pictures. Uh, so that's an issue, but uh, we find that the software is able to uh, determine which is the stronger image and that's the one it counts. So we, we're finding it to be accurate. Uh, the, the best way to do this is to fly as high as you can. So in our case, that's to fly at 400 feet. So in, uh, you know, in summary, uh, first of all, the uh, LoRaWAN uh, technology and the GPS tags, they're uh, system that are available to the public. Uh, we're using them as a research project, but they're available. Uh, unfortunately, the tags are, are a bit too expensive. They're like $75 each. So you would put them on just a few animals, maybe uh, expensive animals that you want to make sure that you monitor the location and seeing that they're moving. Um, but it is a, a technology that uh, uh, is uh, coming down in price uh, and uh, there are several companies around the world that are doing this. Um, I can uh, share that if, uh, if you're interested, contact me. And as far as the drone technology, uh, that's something that uh, the only issue is it does require uh, mosaicing the imagery. So after you land, uh, it takes uh, an hour or two to put that imagery together. Mm -hmm.